Hello again and welcome to Ndu Dubai Fafa. <laughs> Hello again, it's Fafa Gilbert here and thank you very much for watching all my videos, the likes, the comments. Now if you've not subscribed yet, hey, click that subscribe button, yes, like now, and that notification button, ding dong, yeah, click that as well. What that means actually is, each time I upload a video, it's actually delivered straight to your email address. What luxury is that? Yeah, enjoy some luxury for me, why not? And today on the menu, I do have this beautiful smoked mackerel mousse. Seriously, this is like the alternative to butter. You know, it's best to actually have this and just smear your butter and make a sandwich. Ibijankasa. You know the one we call salmon salmon in Ghana? It's mackerel, okay? So grab some mackerel when you go to the market today and try this recipe. Oh yeah. Too much. So to this, I've actually got my smoked mackerel. And of course, I'm using my asanka, the earthenware pot. You know, you can actually use your fruit processor, but you no, know, I have to use my sanka. Why not? So I've actually got some smoked mackerel and I'm just peeling the skin off it and then placing that in the sanka. Now to that, I'm actually going to be adding some yogurt and also some horseradish. Now horseradish is actually in the same family as ginger. So if you don't actually have the horseradish, you can actually use ginger. And if you're using the ginger, don't use too much. So half a teaspoon would be perfect because you just want that little kick in the background. You don't want it to overpower it. So to this, I'm actually going to be grating some fresh black peppercorns um, to my mixture. And that will just give that aromatic taste. Also, you can use your winter if you can, um, but if you using that just use it sparingly because it's quite musky yet again you just want to enhance the natural flavors of this you don't want to overpower the dish now activate your core and your bicep and do some grinding this doesn't actually require too much grinding but it's just okay <laughs> Now, the reason why I actually added the yogurt um, to this is to actually give it that refreshing taste and also it makes it creamier and it's just perfect. So that works really well. And then the horseradish, which also is like is spicy and it's also a little bit creamy. So it's just good. But as I said, you can use the ginger as well. Not a problem. Now, grind everything till you actually have a textured consistency. You don't necessarily need to grind it till it's very smooth. At this point, I think this is just perfect. So now what I'm actually going to do is add some lime and the lime is actually going to refresh in this taste. Now the best way to actually get the juice out of your lime is to massage it in your palm as you can see here. And to that I'm actually going to grate some lime zest. Yes, because I like that it has these beautiful oils and it actually refreshes this dish perfectly. And of course I'm also going to add half the juice of the lime because you don't want to overpower it yet again you just need it to refresh in this um, creaminess as well so that I'm actually adding a glug of um, olive oil and that's almost done actually so I'm just mixing everything now together till it's well combined place the mixture in an airtight container and refrigerate it till a recipe requires it or you need it now when you're serving just drizzle a little bit of olive oil and I'm just tasting it to make sure that the flavor be je aha so here I have it you see you and I'm doing my shenanigans, so I'm just adding some onion flowers, as you do. <laughs> and you see what? I love this because I actually served it with some fried plantain and it was just incredible. And as you can see here, I've actually served it with some fried yam. And that crunchiness of that fried yam with this beautiful mousse was just incredible. Next recipe, actually, I'll show you how to make your yam pancakes or hash browns. They were just je. Of course, me and I, my shenanigans, you know, I served this as a canapé um, so I got my fried plantain put the mousse on top and some caviar as you do <laughs> anyway I hope you've actually enjoyed this episode and you are inspired to try the recipe now you will find the transcript of this recipe on my blog in dudubaifafa.blogspot.com I'll leave a link at the top and also a link in my description box below I'm also on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter as in dudubaifafa do pass by and say hi if you haven't clicked that subscribe button yet or I have not given you a reason. I hope this is a good reason for you to click that subscribe button like now. Thank you. <laughs> and also the notification button. So each time I upload a video, it's delivered straight to your email address. I'll appreciate if you share this video with your family and friends and get them also inspired to try some of the recipes. 
Now do try the recipe and leave a comment below with your feedback and also don't forget to leave a comment below um, as to what dish you'd like me to prepare next as well. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. Until next time, be you, be beautiful, be nice, be kind and guess what? I love you. Take care. Bye-bye.